gonna wait until I get a few more people watching. Because I'm making this video today to expose my truth. So, everybody who knows, who know me, know I have this unconditional love for my kid's father. The only one I consider my kid's father, which will be the last guy I was with, Earl. I done got pushed to my limits. But I'm doing something that I've been wanting to do since, since I found out. I want to expose this just so I don't feel like I'm hiding anymore. So I don't feel that I won't be worthy of people, people love and how people gonna treat me. I don't care no more. For all of my family and friends that are watching, here's my truth. I've been in a committed relationship with my kid's father for the last four years. And with that, he has infected me with HIV as of last year. So yes, I'm HIV positive. I found out right after Thanksgiving last year. I've been wanting to scream this to the mountaintops just because I feel like I'm hiding. I felt people would judge me. I felt everybody would look at me differently. I felt, I felt like I was an outcast, that I would be not worthy. But I tested the waters a little bit. And I let a couple male friends of mine know, the ones that I know that like me in that sense, just to see how they would react to me. The ones that know who likes me on that level. It didn't change how they felt. It didn't change how they looked at me. And that made me feel a little bit better about myself. They had enough maturity and wisdom to know that in 2007 with HIV, it's possible to still live a healthy life. That as long as I'm taking my medicine, it'll be very hard for me to infect someone else. I couldn't explain to y'all what mentally goes through my head. What went through my head when I went to go get a checkup while I was pregnant with my last child to find out at first I had a couple of STDs from my baby daddy. That, of course, made me get an HIV test. And when it came back positive, my world was crushed. I couldn't tell y'all the amount of betrayal it made me feel. But they say God give you signs. And he do. I'm telling you people, listen, take heed. God showed me a long time ago to stop messing with my baby daddy. But I ignored those signs for my kids. I wanted them to continue to growing up having the same mama, same daddy. I wanted to have that foundation for them. I wanted them to grow up to look at me and their daddy and be like, damn, my mama and daddy been together forever. So when they get in a relationship, they do the same thing. Y'all probably hear my kids in the background. I'm in the bathroom to get a little bit of privacy. But I stuck with my baby daddy even after. I felt it was a comfort level. But to know that he gave me HIV and still deal with him, still bend over backwards, still love him with no limitations, still do whatever I could for him for whatever he needed. And for today, even after getting out of jail, God revealed to me that he's still being unfaithful. He's still out here having sex with people. 
I woke up with finding a used condom with semen in it on my bathroom floor. Infuriated. It's not even a word to describe what I felt. First thing came to mind is what if my kids would have picked it up and put their mouth on it? They would have got exposed to the virus. But for somebody to be so careless, to even bring that home. I knew he used to be unfaithful in the past. God showed me that. But I stuck around anyway. Because I at least thought he was at least protecting us. At least. Wasn't true. God will continue to allow you to be with people that he's trying to show you that is not meant for you. But he will allow you to continue to be with them until you can't take it no more. And that condom on my bathroom floor, that was the straw that broke this camel's back. Please don't ask me why I stayed with him after finding out. Again, it was a comfort level. It was a comfort thing. This is who I can be completely open to. This is who I was still able to have sex without having to use a condom, without having to use protection because I knew he was taking his meds just like I was taking mine. So I stayed with him after him giving me HIV. So yes, me, Winona Elaine Thomas, all of you that know me, some of you know me as Nunu. I am HIV positive. And I want y'all to know, be careful, please. This is nothing y'all want to deal with. It eats you alive, literally, mentally, emotionally. I hate thinking about it. For all y'all who wonder what my reality or my, my fantasy world was, it was it's a world where I don't face my reality because my reality is harsh. I didn't do nothing wrong but love somebody. I created a family with this man. My kids, all my kids are by him. Even my oldest, who is not biologically his, he's all my son know as a dad. I was faithful. I've been over backwards. People that know me know. My kids come first, but my priorities do too. I'm blessed to have another roof over my house, but I'm always used to having my own. I have a car. I have a big, I got a single family home. My kids each have their own room. Food stay in my refrigerator and my cabinets. My, uh, my newborn, thank God. God, I, I thank him so much. My baby was born without the virus, even though he was conceived and I had it and I didn't know. My kids are HIV negative. Even though my last baby... I don't understand it because I would presume since I conceived him HIV positive that he would came out HIV positive, but he didn't. So I'm making this video because I want everybody to know I feel like I'm hiding. I'm hiding within myself. And I'm not. I don't want to hide. Y'all can label me whatever y'all want, but the ones that know, that been new, I thank y'all for not treating me no differently. I thank y'all for understanding that I was a victim. It wasn't like I was out in these streets hoeing and being a prostitute and just fucking all these different type of men got four kids and four different baby daddies. I wasn't doing that. I've been in a committed relationship with this man for four years. My last three kids, I've been pregnant for the last three years. It's by him. Mommy, give you fruit snack in a minute, okay? Go put your drawers on, please. And go sit down and watch the movie. Go. Go, Keisha. I'm telling you. Sometimes when you think you found the man of your dreams or the woman of your dreams, can actually, they can actually be the man or woman of your nightmare. I love him. I still love him. I'm not, I won't even get on here and say I don't love him no more. I do. But while he was in jail, and I exposed my truth to very few, just to see what type of reaction I would get, 
I found love for myself again. I love me. I love every part of me. I love me for who I am for my kids. I love who I am for them. I love what I'm able to do for them. But most importantly, I, I fell back in love with me. And that's all the love I need is my love knowing that God got me when nobody else do. Nobody. My kids got me and I got my family behind my back. And they ain't stepped not one foot short since it came out. My family has been there. And I love y'all for that. My mama, Gigi, Netta, Marquise, Dion, Tyra, Jasmine, Trey, Day Day, Daddy, Tiffany, Coco, Grandma, Jill, Shakira, Akila. I love y'all. Dora, Danielle, I love y'all. Y'all ain't treat me no different. Mike Wanda, Brittany, Melda, Dennis, Mike. I can go on. Scooby, Kiara. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for not treating me no differently. Destiny, Sarah, Ma. My God, Mama Shay, Gigi, Tashana. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. I swear from the bottom of my heart. Everybody say I done went MIA. But I have my reasons. I was real sick. My levels were so low for so long. I'm just not getting healthy. Know that I got this virus. No, I'm not losing weight. Oh. My ass is gaining. My hair not gone. It got wet. But it's here. It's growing. And just back like they never left. I'm 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 my health is so it's getting so much better. And I'm exposing my ugly truth. Just cause I've been wanting to do it for so long. I want people that see me to know. This is me. This is my truth. And I'm living in it. I love me. I love who I've become. I love who I'm still to become. I love me. I don't know why it happened to me. I really don't think I deserve it. But God doesn't give you more than what you can bear. And evidently I must be able to bear this pain and this weight. Because I'm doing it. I'm doing it for my babies. Cause they who I live for. It's scary at times when I get sick. I get sick. But I bounce back. And I know that man up above got me, y'all. He got me like no other. I just really wish people stop falling for anything. I was this man's fool. I was his fool for four years. Knowing he was unfaithful. Knowing he wasn't loyal. Knowing he didn't have that much respect for me. I was his fool and continued to be to this day. But today made a new day. That condom on my bathroom floor. When I got this house by myself. When I got my truck by myself. When I buy my kids clothes and pampers and wipes and all they household necessities and all they food by myself to wake up with a condom on my floor by someone who gave me HIV. Mom, I, I may break a that was the camel that broke his back. Pick him up. It was the camel that broke his back. Because I felt I stuck my neck out to still continue to be with this person after they gave me a terminal illness. I still sat here and showed him the type of love that I have. The type of woman that I am. That if we were to be married, it was death to us do us part. I still even felt without us being married with our condition. It's to death. But you know what? What? I love myself too much to sit here and keep getting mistreated, to get misused, when I know my heart is pure and I just want love, I just want happiness. I can't see myself keep letting somebody walk over me. 
It's a saying. If you don't stand for something, you're going to fall for anything and not be damned if I continue to fall. I was his fool. Even to this day as we speak. But I ain't nobody fool no more. If any fool I'm going to be for, it's going to be for Elijah, Jaquan, Keisha, Shakira, and Greg. I'll be they fool and they fool only. But I can't be. I can't be his fool no more. I got to be a living example. I got three boys that I got to raise to be men, to know what a real man is, to know how to be a man and have responsibility and call themselves being ahead of anybody household. They're going to know how to respect and care for a woman. And my daughter, I pray she be just like me. I ain't trying to brag on myself, but I'm one independent woman. I don't ask for handouts. I don't need a nigga for nothing because I got my house. Shit, since I was 18, I've got my houses, my cars, my clothes, my necessities, my wants by myself. I grind and I get this. I make way out of no way. And when I can't, God got me. And when he don't got me, my mama got me. My Gigi got me. My sister-in-law got me. My daddy got me. My sisters or my cousin, cousins-in-law, friends that are family, they got me. And I appreciate it. But in all in all, I got me. And I got these kids. I'm going to always have them. Call me crazy for putting my truth out on the open and on Facebook. I'm crazy. So be it. But I'm me. And I ain't never been nothing short of real. Like me or love me. I don't need nobody opinions. This is what y'all can do with y'all opinions. Because y'all opinions ain't going to pay for my kids. It's not going to pay my rent. It's not going to make sure they're straight. Period. So any negativity motherfuckers can miss me with that. Because I'm still going to prosper. Ain't no weapon that has been formed against me will prosper. Period. None. Not even this HIV virus. Excuse me, Mom. You don't want I'm fighting for my kids' future to the death of me, my niggas. Period. He's gonna Pick him up. He just ate. I'm fighting. And I'm fighting for these little ones behind me. Till I take that last breath. If it's HIV, that take me out. Hey. I just pray God let me make sure they straight when I go. That's it. When I found out, I wanted to off myself right then and there. And him too. He was going to be the first one before I shot myself. But then where that would have left my kids? Parentsless. They don't deserve that. And I still try to give them what I thought they deserved. But I'm a very true believer of reality. No matter how much I wanted my kids to grow up with the same father and same mother. That's not my reality. My reality is. Life deals you the hands it wants you to dealt with. I was dealt my hand. The man that I want as my fucking, my, my only children father and the one that I only wanted in my household and my kids to see get raised upon with is not the man for me. I thank the man that I did tell that liked me on that level, that know my truth and didn't treat me no different. Still trying to talk to me. Still wanted to holler at me on that level. I thank them. They had enough wisdom and, and knowledge to know. Just because I got this virus, don't mean I'll give it to you. I wouldn't wish this upon my worst enemy. And whoever comes in my future. All of me know, I can find love again. It's somebody out there that'll love me. They'll love me. But even if they don't, I love myself. I love myself enough. I don't need another man's love. My kids and my family, and more importantly, God's love is all I need. Call it crazy. Call me this God worshiper, whatever. But he's what gets me through. I cry when no one's around. I'm crying to y'all so y'all know. Please be careful. Regardless of who you with and how long you've been with them. Stay tested, because you never know what they doing. But even if you got some little sense that they unfaithful, go get tested. Please. I'm telling you. I'm late taking my medicine now. And I will show y'all, just so y'all know, this is no bullshit. 
So anybody on my friends list, and I will be taking this to the whole Milwaukee, so I can let the whole Milwaukee know. Earl Jaquan McDougal, my kid's father, who I've been with for four years, infected me with HIV. I'm going to show you a little something. Right now, these are the only two I have to take for the rest of my life. But while I was pregnant, One moment. Oh, you know what? While I was pregnant, and I got more somewhere else. These is just four out of the six bottles I had to take while I was pregnant. Look them up. Look at them. Look them up. Look at them. Same thing, Tivike. This is Travada. Now this, this medicine right here. That Travada, I recommend for everyone, whether you HIV positive or not, that right there is the medicine that will help me not only suppress my virus, but make it also so hard for me to pass it on to anybody else. It protects you better than a condom will. So it's people out here that's taking them that don't even have the virus. That's what they're really for. To protect you. Because sometimes them condoms won't. Sometimes the motherfuckers break. They come off. But that Travada. That Travada going to get you. You go to the doctor regularly. Ask your doctor about them. Whether you HIV or po positive or not. I recommend you take Travada. Take it. But again. This is my ugly truth. But with all my ugliness, look behind me. I'm blessed. I got a single family home. This is me and my kids shit. This is our shit. Mine. I did it on my own. After being homeless. After finding out that I had this illness. It was a reason why I couldn't work. Because I used to be so tired. I used to pass out so easily. And I thought it was just my pregnancy. But it's not. It was the virus and it was being untreated. I didn't know I had it. My son naked. Excuse him. But this is our home. We are able to call this our own. Thanks to who? That man up above and they mama. Mommy did this. This is mommy's doing. And I'm going to keep doing it. And this ain't shit. This ain't nothing. This is what people supposed to have. I'm, I'm striving for better and more. They're going to have more. My boys are going to have more. My boys are going to know what it is. To be able to stand on your own. To be able to provide. Mama. To know what a real man is. This HIV ain't stopping shit. It ain't stopping nothing. I'm still going to have niggas in my DM. I'm still going to have niggas hollering at me. Why? I'm an independent woman. I don't need no handouts. I don't need a man to do nothing for me. I take care of all four of my kids by myself. I maintain. Yes, I struggle. Everybody struggle. I ain't trying to hear it. Everybody struggle on their own different levels. But as I said, in the end, longest guy got me. I'm good. I ain't got no bro. <laughs> but like I said, I done gained weight. I'm gaining weight. I'm mad.
because I'm getting big. Mama. But at the same Mama. time, my Mama. doctors and them, they like it. It lets me know my health is inclining and not declining. But when you realize your worth, what you deserve, how good you are. When the motherfucker keep doing you wrong after you done gave them chances after chances after chances. And you find that worth again. Baby, bye. Sent them packing. Got to go. I was doing bad by myself. I'm going to continue to do bad by myself. You hear me? So, for anybody that want to feel different, treat me different. Look at me different. Label me differently. Please. I'm asking you. Unfriend me. Don't speak to me. Keep your negative comments to yourself. But keep it pushing. Because I'm going to say it again from people that are just getting on. I, Winona Elaine Thomas, is HIV positive. When they say love can kill you or it will, man, it's the truth. It's the truth. I got my health taken away from me for being in love. I love the man that I just was pregnant by for three years. It'll never go away. I will always have to take these medicines for the rest of my life. But it's going to be okay. So for all of you that my bum ass baby daddy or sperm donor, what I call them, done told, big bean, and everybody else who call themselves sneak dissing and call themselves going around telling people I got HIV. I'm telling you out the old horse's mouth for himself. It's true. I have HIV. You ain't got to fuck with me. You ain't going to make nor break me. I'm still going to be good. My kids are still going to be taken care of. Bills are still going to get paid. I'm still going to prosper. Will no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Period. These little ones. Say hi, mama. This one. Say hi. Hi. Naked nappy head behind me. Hi. Look, Gregory. Baby G. They gonna be fine. They mama got them. And I'm hot. Yes, I'm sweating. I ain't in the rooms with my AC yet. I'm trying to get away from these kids. But we gonna be good. Today was another day I have to mark in my calendar. I finally let that man go. I let him go. I had to send him packing. It hurts to a certain extent. But I can't keep dwelling on his hurt. Because he don't never dwell on mine. Because if he did, even after giving me HIV, he wouldn't still be hurting me. He'll be doing everything in his power to try to make up for the damage that he caused. But that's not the case. He still want to go out. Still want to fuck with motherfuckers. And I'll be honest with y'all. A tranny is involved. The tranny said he gave it to him. That my baby daddy gave it to the tranny. I believe the tranny gave it to him. I don't know who gave it to who. All I know. I got it in the end. There's still inboxes from trannies in his inbox. Bitches. Another woman he gave it to. He claimed it's who the condom this morning that I found was for. I don't believe it, but even if it is, hey, he y'all problem. Now, I can't. I have to stand on my ten toes and pull my big girl panties up and accept. I'm going to be a single parent. Hopefully, he still can be a father and still help out with his kids. But even if he can't, they could. I got them. I had them while he was just in jail. Makes you think I won't continue to do it. So, again, this was to expose my ugly truth. And to make everyone that I love aware. Please, get tested. Stay tested. 
I don't care how much you love a person. How much you think a person loves you. Get tested and stay tested. Because being with this man for four years, not once have I thought he would give me HIV. We have a past. Before I had my first child, I was also with this man back in 2010. So it's not like, oh, I left my sperm donor and got with some new nigga and didn't know this nigga. No, I knew him. We had a good relationship back in 2010. That's what made me kind of go back. It was one of my good ones. But as I got to be with him, as the years came, as the year time went past, I got to know who he truly was. And again, God will show you signs. You don't take heed. That's going to be on you. Because he's going to keep letting them people hurt you. Until you can't take it no more. This man has did all the damage that he possibly could. But guess what? I'm still able to smile. Gapping off. I'm still able to laugh. I'm still able to get these little munchkins a reason to smile. I have a reason to wake up and smile. I'm here. He didn't kill me. He killed me, but he didn't kill me. My spirit's still here. This body's still moving. I'm still able to do everything that I was able to do before I contracted it. So all my family, all my friends, I love y'all. I love everybody that loves me. And even if you don't, still got love for you. Still ask God to wrap his arms around everyone and cover everybody in the blood of Jesus. For those that know him and those that don't, especially the ones that are lost. Find him. He's real. And that's all I got to say for now. I got to get under this air. I'm hot. My phone battery getting low. I got plenty to do. But with that being said, today has marked a new day for me. I had to let go. And I'm letting God. And I'm going to do this. It's going to be hard. It was hard when he was locked up. But I know it's going to be a little harder that I got to eliminate him out of my personal life. He can still be in my life as far as these kids. But as my personal life, my heart, my body, I can't do it no more. He still want these streets. He got them. So, I love all those that love me. For everyone who think I've been distant, MIA, ain't really fuck with nobody, funny acting, I'm not. I do have a lot to deal with. I did almost lose my newborn a couple months ago. He was this close to being dead. No, again, for those who are just getting on, he does not have the virus. He is healthy. But he did have something that almost took him away. Yes. No, wait, I'm finna get him. But my mother duty, my mother duty calls. So I have to get off. I will be in my A for a little bit for some people, just so y'all know. I am in my feelings. I am still hurting. Mama. I hated to see him walk down them streets. But again, he didn't hate my hurt. So I can't dwell on his pain. Because he wasn't dwelling on mine. And so whoever, whoever, whoever you with, please be careful. Don't care how much you love them and how much you think they may love you. The devil comes in all disguises. Don't forget he was a fallen angel at one point in time too. So until next time, I'm signing off. Hopefully my ugly truth can let someone open their eyes and live in theirs. Because now I'm loving my truth. I love me.